sorting through some of the stuff trying to put into you know piles of stuff <laughs> and this old power supply it looks like and what's weird is you can see it's got a female socket there and then it comes out to two leads so to plug this into the wall you'd have to have a male to male lead which you just don't get anymore you'd have to make one up which I don't have so I'm obviously gonna have to make one up and see if this still works um, you can see bland radio limited for use with AC DC shavers specified maximum 15 watts from 12 volt DC so from that it puts out 12 volt DC here you, that's logically you never know it could be different but I, I doubt it that's rectified we'll have a look inside old tin box see it's got old Bakelite socket transformer a resistor and that looks like a capacitor but it's actually a valve it has to be a valve you can see there's just too many leads down the bottom there that would be that would be the, the rectifier turning the AC into the DC. There's, there's something in there, I'm not actually sure what that is. I imagine that's a capacitor. But it's very short and made of a... I'm not actually sure, it's, it's not really wax, it's sort of plasticky brown stuff. I can't really read anything on it. I, d I don't want to pull it apart. Oh, I'd like to test it out, you never know, it might still work. It'd be interesting to see, so I'll put him back together and add him to the keep pile. But yeah, interesting old school power supply. From this setup, it's it's kind of like you you plug this into the into a 12 volt battery, and then you plug your shaver into there. But yeah, it's hard to say because you know it says from 12 volt DC, so from 12 volt to 240 and 15 watts. That's what we've got to try out. We could just plug that into 12 volts, of course. We might do that. We might, we'll take it inside. We'll take it inside and we'll hook it up to the power supply and just see, and see what we can do later. Guess we should just do it now, huh? Makes more sense. We'll do that. Here we are inside on the workbench. Now there's no way to tell. There's no way to tell. Well, maybe there is. Positive from negative here. So we're just going to have to experiment. And it's not drawing any current, so probably not doing much. And lost the multimeter. Getting any readings anywhere there? I'll swap them around. Still not drawing any currents. Some readings off the transformer. 
Okay, nothing. Nothing. So it's it's hard to say. These old things, caps, capacitors are definitely just about always shoddy in these. After fifty years or so, it's not getting any voltage anywhere there. Draw a bit of current that way by putting DC. Oop. Check for heat. Drawing point nine point zero eight amps here. Yeah. Now we should be able to might be able to just get a reading. Oh, we're getting a little bit. No, nothing. That's just a weird what if situation. It's not going to pass DC current through there by the looks. I'm not getting anything. But it is drawing a bit of power. Nothing's warming up though. You see a bit of a spark there when you. So, what we really need to do is get 240 cranking into it. But that'll have to be for another day. <laughs> 